What's up, universe? This is Big Rock with another video. Today, I am going to compare the three consoles that are the generation of today, and that is the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series S, and the Nintendo Switch OLED. All right. First, I am going to go by graphics. Obviously, the Nintendo is getting better at that, but it's also a Nintendo, so I don't have that full good graphics like your PS5 would have that power, or the Xbox would have that power to bring into the system. It's a great system. The OLED is way better with the graphics on handheld. Now it depends on the TV that you propel it to or whatever. But handheld, play it all the time in handheld. Pokemon, uh, my wife has Zelda. Um, love it. So, the Nintendo Switch is a great system. You know, a gamer will have all three. Um... A true gamer. But, some people, you know, I got the Xbox Series S as a Christmas gift. So, that's why I'm doing this video. The PS5 I've had since launch day. The Nintendo OLED also was a gift for my birthday, actually. So, there's that. Um, the Nintendo Switch I'll start off with. Uh, love it. The con the controller is great. Um, you know, it's nice and firm. Uh, that's what she said. Um, I, I mean, uh, the controller, the joystick. Um, it has nice fluent. It, it don't, no leg, no nothing like that. Which I love because, obviously, when you're trying to game... You don't have that leg in the, you know, that second leg or whatever you want to say. Um, it's a good console. I'm going to rate that as, you know, 9.5 out of 10. The only reason why that is is because me being, I, I play every game once if I don't like it. For my demographic, I don't have that. I play Pokemon, Mario, Sonic, stuff like that. Yeah, it's on that, but I can get Sonic on any other console. Uh, Pokemon is the main reason why I wanted to switch um, for my birthday, and I did end up getting it. So, it, you know, I wanted it for the new Arceus game coming out, which... Also will be reviewed. Uh, it was the main reason. The only game I have is pretty much Pokemon. For I have like. A racing game on there that was free. Stuff like that. Controls are very. Very different than. You know they got. I think they copied Xbox on the. Control screen scheme though. Because of the. They have the same button layout. X, Y, B, A, kind of, you know, and the same with the Xbox as X, Y, B, A. So, and then, it, it feels really premium. Like, it's a heavy console. Like, I'm not going to break it. I It's very, very, very heavy duty. Um, Great screen. I highly recommend the OLED if you're going to play it handheld. Um... 
get a screen protector on it though. Um, a glass screen protector just in case. You know, get a couple of accessories with it, like a case and stuff like that. Now, let's move on to Xbox Series S. This one is kind of controversial because I was watching videos uh, for a while about the new Xbox systems. People were saying the graphics was not there. It didn't look phenomenal. There was issues with it. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. That's all I got to say about that. Graphics on point. I've only played one game so far on it, and that's Forza Horizon 5. The graphics are stunning. Amazing graphics on that. Um, I haven't really had time. Uh, it took literally a day and a half, because my internet sucks, uh, to download Forza by itself. 102 gigabytes. Um, now let's talk about this controller, the Xbox controller. If somebody's going to do out 300 to 500, the Xbox Series X is the more expensive one, yes. But if someone's going to do out, work on the controller as well. Yeah, there's improvements from like the Xbox One controller, stuff like that, like the grip back here, the, the toggles are okay. But, you, the clicking noise, come on, man. And then, you hear your game. You know, I like the controller where it's not so clickety-clackety-click. But, also, Xbox, the new Xbox controllers, they kind of shrunk the controller a little bit. So, it's like, it used to fit in my hand just perfectly. Now, it's just, I don't know, it's like, still fits, and it's a good controller, don't get me wrong, but it feels, the, the quality of it feels fake. And that's not necessarily a good thing when it comes to when you buy a $300 system, you don't want stuff to feel fake, Right? So, you want to have it where it feels premium and it's nice. It, when I'm playing Forza, I can I can feel the rumbles when you hit the water and stuff like that. That's awesome, you know. And, and it's not nothing like the PS5 controller, which we'll go back, come back to here in a minute. But it's a start. I mean, if, if this controller had haptic feedback. And trigger toggles that like the PlayStation 5 does. And it actually acted to the environment like the PS5's does. And everything like that. This controller will also be phenomenal. And I got, I got spoiled having the PS5 at launch day. And, and, and the controller I kind of got used to. So I haven't get used to this controller. Um, but I've only played one game so far. My first impressions on it, small system. It, it, it's very, very, very small. It fits anywhere. Um, it's digital, the Series S is. If you do want to opt in getting the Series X, it has a disk drive in it. Um, so if you want your Blu-rays and your 4Ks and stuff like that, then definitely get that. But if you want a nice, decent, affordable system that has some good graphics, um, for granted, don't get to 4K, like, you know, the bigger, beefier brother or cousin or whatever you want to say, uh, the Series X, then, you know, but the Series S, if you want digital... And you are not like me. I play the PlayStation 5 more than anything. So all my big games are going to go on that. And, and, and the Series S. I play Forza. I love Forza. Fable. The exclusives. I love that. Uh, the other thing that got me on the Series S. 
it was only a 512 gigabyte hard drive. Why not opt for a one terabyte hard drive, just like the X? Um, but other than that, pretty solid, pretty solid system. I was really surprised that it was as good as it is. I was wowed. The quick resume on that, today I found that out real quick. I turned on my system and bam, I'm in my game just like that in the pause menu still. And I could carry on doing what I was doing. It was amazing. And you can bounce game to game, up to five games, doing that. It's an amazing feature. And don't get me started on Game Pass. At Game Pass, you have hundreds and hundreds of titles that you, up to your disposal for $15 a month. I love it. It's very good. It's a good quality system. Now, let's talk about... The big PS5. I got the disc version of the PS5 day one. Um, I did have some issues at the beginning where my first PS5 didn't start. Got into the second one and my second one quit out on uh, six months after, uh, three, four, five months after getting it. So I had to send it back to Sony, and Sony replaced it. But anyway, the PS5, this controller right here, phenomenal. I love the haptic feedback. It rumbles when uh, you're going to train. You feel the hell, the rain, the sleet, the snow, everything. When you're shooting guns, this trigger bounces. When you're playing a basketball game... It bounces like you're bouncing the basketball. It, it goes in the environment that you are playing in. And that right there is a great controller. I love this controller. I think this is the best controller I've ever played with in my life. Um, and I played every single console, guys. Um, PlayStation did really good. Plus, this one has uh, a speaker in the front where you can talk to people. You don't need a mic if you don't want to. Uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, plus, you don't hear the clicking as much as the Xbox ones. I'm pressing them. You don't hear the click. Um, heavy, heavy son of a bitch. I mean, it's very heavy. Uh, the graphics are f fucking phenomenal on that. Uh... And I, I think it's just, PS5 is, they could have offered also with the one terabyte and up SSD card, but they ended up with what, 812, 8 something um, gigabytes instead. Don't know why, but that's what they did. And it been doing good. Uh, I'm on Fall Cry 6 right now. Killing it. Loving it. But let's rate these systems and I'll have you rate them as well. Babe, what do you think about the Nintendo Switch? It's a 9.5 in my book out of 10. Same. Same. Uh, how about the Series S? I think it's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Mm. I don't even have much time to play it much, but either have I. I've played maybe a total of, what, two hours on it? Yeah, while well, I was waiting for mine to download the <laughs> fucking game. I know, right? Um, I'll go 10 out of 10. How about you? So far, it's so far. not letting us down. Yeah, the graphics is amazing. Um, PS5. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The controller does it for me. I, I love it. All in all, this generation of consoles, amazing. 
every console, don't hurt, you know, your kids want Nintendo, get them a Nintendo if you can afford it. Um, Xbox Series S. It is two ninety nine ninety nine, and there's a bundle uh, with Fortnite and Rocket League, and you get whatever they are. I don't play those two games. Um, so uh, it was just it's available. Yeah, you, know, you know, and and I I wanted the Series X, but the person that got it for me couldn't find the Series X, so they opted for the Series S. I ain't complaining. I really ain't. It's a great, great console. Plus, it was a gift. You know, a good gift. It, it, it was just awesome. So, it, it, it's awesome when you have three good consoles. It's a good time to be a gamer. Uh, good games coming out this year. 2022. Amazing. Alright guys, that's my review on this generation of consoles. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. It helps me a lot. I'll be back with some more reviews this year. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.